Joy Sevens. I've been in Chestertown for 33 years and I'm an aquatic pathologist with the U.S. Department of Agriculture, the Agriculture Research Service. The laboratory, its focus is on vaccine development against bacterial diseases in farm-raised fish and part of that could be extended to um, hatchery raised fish that are actually released into the environment for stock restoration purposes. We also um, are looking at environmental effects and how those effects impact disease susceptibility. High nitrogen, low dissolved oxygen, uh, parasitic burdens, those are the types of things that we look for to see if, if it would enhance disease susceptibility to a particular agent. We're talking on a local basis. Let's just take a look at some of the newspapers here where spread of disease is devastating rockfish mycobacterium. This was in 2002 and again it's been prevalent in the Chesapeake Bay for, since 1999. And again they're topically acquired either through um, recreational activities, swimming, fishing, and now people, because there's people are handling fish, they're getting punctured, they call it fish handler's disease, fish fancier's disease. 63 cases in one year just in France from uh, mostly f aquarium people. It takes about four months for symptoms to develop. And so it's just a, it's somewhat of a problem to, diagnostically. It's nothing to diagnose it from fish because the fish people know what to look for. The fish have granulomas on the spleen and you can do a little stain, an acid fast stain, and, and it's mycobacterium, so it's fairly unique. But now there's 120 species of mycobacterium, 13 of which are in the bay. I work a lot with Streptococcus. Uh, it's a gram positive bacteria. It causes um, bovine mastitis, but it also causes neonatal sepsis. Every person who's been pregnant has to have at 36 weeks uh, a group B strep test. And so I was called away to um, Kuwait as their pathologist to, they were having this tremendous fish kill and I found group B strep. This was in 2001. Well, they had 3,000 tons of rotting mullet for a duration of a month just on a sustained die off and it closed the fish markets, the fishing industry. And so they needed to know why are these fish dying? The, uh, you know, this was a, a massive proportion. Streptococcus is a little scary because it's traditionally been in humans and, and cattle and, and now fish have it and so the question is well are these environmental isolates or can humans give this to fish and vice versa and so we have conducted some studies which suggest that yes I can take a human isolate that is phylogenetically related um, to the fish isolate from Kuwait and, and, and kill fish. Our laboratory has become pretty much the expert in streptococcal diseases. We get samples from all over the world. Brazil, Thailand, Indonesia, you know, so, and we have, we have two streptococcal vaccines. And that's how we fit into everyone's daily lives, whether it's developing a, a mosquito sprayer, in our case it's vaccines, to prevent disease in farm-raised fish.